Hey everybody, Rune the Gaming Dad from the Arc Trade Federation, and today we are on the island and we're going after the Artifact of the Devourer. We're over here on Carno Island, right on the back side of the island. You can actually see the cave entrance in front of us. We're just going to take the Desmodus in and then land and we'll kind of gear up a bit and show you what we've got to take this cave on. So be very careful. Of course, Carno Island is not the easiest place in the world to be. And one thing you need to prepare yourself for is the cold. So this cave is quite cold. We'll just try to get off of this Desmodus. Here we go. And we'll pump up the brightness so you can see. We'll freeze him up. And right at the beginning of this cave, you're going to have to go underwater. It's not the amount of time underwater that I think you need scuba. But you can see I'm cold already. And as soon as we get in the cave, it's going to get worse. So we're just going to gear up with some fur. And then we'll place a couple sleeping bags down, just as always. So, as you get to this water area here, you can swim this and get to the other side. And I'll do that now. You just have to be careful. You see the crystal formations where it's going to hang a left. And you can get through this with just, you know, normal oxygen to get yourself out. And you just veer to the right, and you can come up right here. The problem is, is when you get up you can see there's probably enemies already waiting for you there's none here right now but what I like to do and I'm gonna go back and show you is I like to use a shadow main in fact we'll just throw it out right now because the shadow main can swim underwater without any problem and then if you get to the top here you're kind of good to go in case there's an enemy there you can see that they're teaming all around you can see the bats already we'll take the traditional way down and then we'll show you a fun way to get back up so we're going to take this here, and there's a few jumps that you'd have to deal with. With the Shadow Man, you should be able just to run right across them and then take out these enemies. The Shadow Man's just a great dino because it is a jack-of-all-trades. It really is. does so many different things really well. This little land bridge, we're going to avoid that. We're going to hang and stay to the left here. And what you can normally find in this cave, and we're getting kind of lucky, is you normally have spiders waiting for you. There's obviously, there's some spiders right here. Here we go. If you use that special attack with with the Shadow Man, it does kind of take them down. You got webbed, so we're going to get unwebbed here before we take this little spot here and just run right across. You've got dung beetles in here you can tame as well, and it can be a little little sticky in some points here before you fall off. The reason why I take the Shadow Mane as well is because if you fall, it takes lesser fall damage, so it's a little easier to deal with. Be careful of Mega Rabies, which I just got from one of the bats, so if you've got a lesser antidote with you, great. If you've got high enough health, you're probably okay. Um, if you come with another person, make sure you steer clear of them. If you get Mega Rabies, it'll take you that 90-second timer to get down. Um, if you got Med Brews, that helps as well. I think I have high enough health here that I should be okay. We're going to take out these bats here. And the special attack for the Shadow Mane is great. You see, this is the next jump here. If you just run it across, you'll be okay. You can take this with a Mega Therium if you want to. It gets the buff from killing bugs, which is really nice. And it can pretty much mow through all this stuff here. But you can see we're just going down, down, down. And as soon as we get to the bottom, you're going to see a horde of enemies waiting for you. This is another reason why I take the Shadow Mane, because it does have the Warp Strike ability. So this glowing part back there, purple, that's where the artifact is. So if we make our way down, you can see we're just dealing with bat after bat after bat. So... Sometimes what I like to do is actually come down here and try to take on these enemies first and not take all the mobs at once. So if we'd use the Warp Strike ability here, let's see if we can get it to work. Oh, we got the Teleporter active. We'll clear this first mob. I accidentally had the Teleporter open. And you can see our Mega Rabies is gone, so we're going to take our simple drinks here. The Warp Strike tends to freeze these dinos up. And then you can use the Finishing Strike to take them out. And this Shadow Mane doesn't have the best damage. I mean, it's a 547. It's not not a crazy amount of damage. But when you get to this many enemies, especially with all that stuff in the air, if you can use the Shadow Mane and the Warp Strike, you can see that it stuns a lot of them, which is great. And then just use your Finishing Strike. And as soon as you kill something with that Finishing Strike, it reloads the bar. So you can really do a lot of damage really quickly and take out a lot of these enemies super fast. Except for this stubborn bug over here, or stubborn bat. 
So one thing you got to be careful of, most dinos will not fit through this little opening, so you're going to have to take it on foot. So it's best to kind of go around the back and make sure, as you can see, there's there's our spider, that, a couple spiders that are waiting for us, and then try to swing to the other side as well. Looks like we're clear here, so we'll jump off, grab the artifact. I can hear something coming already. So the main reason why I use a Shadow Maid in the cave is because after you gather the artifact, you can take this pathway all the way back up if you like. But if you turn around and you see those mushrooms ahead of us, or right above us rather, you can actually launch the Shadow Maid all the way back up to the top of the cave if you get it right. I mean, the entrance is literally right above it. So if you just go right above these mushrooms right here and you use the full jump, you can launch the shadow main <laughs> right to the water. So it makes it super easy to get back out of the cave. So if you're using a shadow main. Now if you're using another dino, yeah, you're going to hoof it all the way back. And we'll jump all the way down again just so you can see the spot in the shadow main does not take a lot of fall damage. But you can see there's those mushrooms right above it. And you're going to aim right. There's a little jut out. And I'll point it th the reticle right to it. See that? You're going to want to go right above that and just launch that shadow main right at it. And you end up right back where you started. And you just take your shadow main out through the cave, back up through the water. And the shadow main may not fit through the cave entrance, so you may have to pot it. But it does make this cave a whole heck of a lot easier. And we'll just pot it up and head back out of the cave. So that is how to get the artifact of the devourer on the island. So just wanted to say thanks for watching. If you found the video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. We greatly appreciate it. And we'll see you all on the next video.